Now guys, we are going to create a JavaScript project in order to display this digital clock over here where we will be able to see the hour, the minute and the seconds as well and whether it is AM or PM over here based on the current time of the system. So guys, let us create this JavaScript project in order to display this digital clock. So let us move to VS Code. So guys, let us create a new folder inside the projects folder over here and we will name it as display clock in this case. Now guys, inside this particular folder, we will create the three files that is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So we have index.html file over here. We have style.css file and also the JavaScript file that is script.js file this time. So guys, we have all these three files that will help us in order to display the digital clock and display the current time of the system on the web browser. So guys over here let me just provide the exclamation mark that is the emit abbreviation and this is the code that is getting generated and simply we will change the title as digital clock over here. Let me just link the CSS file as well. So we provide the link tag and the href attribute is having the style.css file. Also let me just link the javascript file as well by using the script tag over here. We provide the source attribute as script .js file. Now guys inside the body over here first of all we will create a div tag with the class container. So guys over here we have the div tag with the class container and then initially let us provide the content as clock over here. Let me just save this file now and start the live server over here. As you can see this is the clock that is a div tag that is getting generated. Now guys let us provide certain styling properties inside the style.css file. So first of all let me just copy the class name that is container over here so we provide dot inside the style.css file we provide the class name over here and then what we will do is let us say first of all we provide the width of this particular container as 50 percent also we want to change the background color so let us set the background color as orange and then also we will align the text that is text align it will be equal to center so that the text can be displayed at the center of this particular div tag now guys we will also provide provide certain border and the border radius as well so simply we provide the two pixels solid border with the color black in this case and also the border radius with 10 pixels over here apart from this we also want to set the size of the text in this case so simply we will set the font size in this case as 32 pixels when we save this file now you can see that this is the updated container now guys inside this container we are going to provide our digital clock let me just increase the size to 36 pixels over here so that we can see the timing properly now guys after this let us also get this container at the center of the screen by using the margin attribute as auto over here so we have got the container at the center of the screen now apart from this also let us provide the padding as well of 20 pixels this time so as you can see the padding is also provided so guys this is the very basic styling properties that we have provided inside the style.c CSS file. Now the main thing that we are going to focus on is to display the digital clock inside this particular container. So we are going to go inside the script.js file over here and simply we have to identify this container that is the div tag. So guys over here let me just make use of the class that is container and let us identify this div tag by using the document followed by dot and then we have the query selector over here. We will make use of the dot character followed by the class name and then let us provide the variable as clock over here so we have successfully identified the div tag that is having the class container over here and stored it inside the clock variable now guys what we have to do is we need to write a function in order to get the current time of the system so simply we will make use of the function keyword and then we will say get current time over here followed by open and close parenthesis and then we have the open and close curly braces so guys this particular function is responsible in order to get the current time of the system so how do we get the current time simply we can make use of the date class over here so we use the date variable it is equal to we make use of the new keyword followed by the date class in this case and then open and close parenthesis so guys this date is the built-in javascript class that will 
help us in order to get the current date and time of the system so guys over here what we will do is simply we are going to return the current time so basically we will make use of the variable that is date followed by dot and then we have something called as to local time string method because basically this method will only return the current time of the system so this is the time that we are looking for and then since it is a method we will make use of the open and close parenthesis now guys simply we have to call this get current time function in order to get the current time of the system and display that time inside the container where we are displaying clock over here so what we will do is simply we will make use of the clock variable over here so let us make use of the clock variable followed by dot and then we have something called as inner html that will help us in order to set the content inside the diff tag which will be equal to the value that we must be getting from the get current time which is the local time in terms of string data so guys over here simply we will call this function that is get current time and then we will make use of the open and close parenthesis in order to call the function so let me just save this file now and when we go to the web page as you can see we are now getting 110 that is the first hour and the 10th minute and then 39 seconds in the afternoon since it is pm over here so guys this is the way that we can get the time in this case now guys if you notice this time is not ticking so basically it is a fixed time over here when we reload this page now we are getting the updated time but it should be continuously working in this case that means the seconds and the minutes should keep on increasing just like how time never stops for anyone so guys what we have to do is instead of providing the inner html as a fixed line of code over here we have to make use of something called as set interval in this case so guys basically set interval is a javascript function that will execute certain lines of code periodically based on the time period that we define so guys over here you can see that this particular set interval it takes two argument over here the first argument is the callback function and this callback function will have the lines of code that we want to execute so let me just remove this line of code from here and provide it inside the set interval this time and then guys we also have to provide the second argument that is interval over here in terms of milliseconds so in this case we will provide 1000 milliseconds which means one second over here so guys what is the meaning of this basically Basically, this JavaScript built-in function that is set interval will call this line of code periodically after every one second over here so since we have provided the interval as 1000 milliseconds which means one second after every one second this line of code that is present inside the callback function of the set interval method will be executed and this is where we are updating the time in our diff container over here so guys when we save this file now and then switch back to the web browser now you can see that the time is ticking and it is not a fixed time that is getting displayed so guys this is the way that we can simply display the digital clock over here by using the date class in this case and then using the time that is coming from that particular date class we are setting it to the content of this diff tag over here by using the inner html and it is important to note that if you want this time to continuously increase then basically we have to make use of the set interval that will call that particular function after every second in order to get the updated time of the system over here so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video till then stay tuned